18 tablets a day. Do you know that? 18. I rattle when I walk. I do. I rattle like a money box. Well, I could do with borrowing you then. Hey? I'm broke. Here we are, Mr. Rowe. And they're getting bigger. Actually, these are for horses, but they're all we've got this morning. Yeah, and I'm not surprised at that. There. There, you see, you look better already. You can get bed number seven ready. There's a head injury coming up from casualty. But you mean me? Well, she wouldn't mean me. I mean, she's hardly likely to let you loose with a drug trolley, is she? You'd see her half the ward. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence, you Irish bird. What'd you call me? Never spoke. Anyway, you're not in charge of the drug trolley. There we are. All over with. Yes, till the next time. Well, you want to get better, don't you? It's Trevor Fucking, I'm sure it is. We'll see you when he's at home. We already know you are. Thanks. Curtains, please. Afternoon. Mr. Bailey, is that right? Yeah. Well, what have you been doing with yourself? Thank you. Thank you. Carry on with what you were doing. It's not Trevor Brookie. God, he's dishing off. Oh, for goodness sake, Lynn. Excuse me. Yes? Definitely me this time. Yes, sister? Just help him into bed, will you? We'll have to clean you up, too. What do you do for a living? I'm a tool maker. Uh, I can do it. I'm all right, you know. Yeah, you'd better lie down. Oh. <sighs> there. Are you sure that's comfy? Great. Phone sister, Dr. McTaggart. Take his details, will you? The admission book's there. Doesn't he look nice? Not bad. Seen him as either got him ready. She likes me, really. How are you feeling? Oh, great. I don't know what the fuss is about. You feel well enough to give me your details. <sighs> you know, name and address, religion and that. I only fainted, darling. I'm a light and bitter man. What? Well, you said you wanted to know me religion, didn't you? Funny. Surname, please. Uh, Bailey. Nurse! Nurse Monaghan! Somebody's calling you. I've got ears. First name. Kevin. But they call you Kev. All right. Kev. I like short names for boys. He's single. Oh. Yes? I'm looking for Kevin Bailey. Well, it's not visiting hours. No, but the nurse in the office said it was all right. Oh, well, he's over there then. Tom. Who's that? How should I know? I think she's wearing an engagement ring. She's got gloves on. <laughs> Do it for me. No. You're being very silly, you know. She's just a friend. Who? Kev's visitor. Kev? That's his name. I love dark men. Don't you ever think of anything else? I'm sure I've seen him somewhere before. You wouldn't like to try and persuade Mr. Rowe to have his tablets, would you? Oh, leave him. He'll come round. He should be having them now. Oh, then it's his own fault. Do you think he's all right? Mr. Rowe? No, care. Of course he is. You should be worrying about Mr. Rowe. Well, he's the best-looking patient we've had in months. Hello, George. In a flap, smooch your tailor and sister, just have another look at him. Oh. One hand on his stethoscope, the other hand on her knee. Smoochie did that to you? No fear, I'd thump him if he did. He's far too old. Yeah, it doesn't do it to me either. He's supposed to do it with Joe Longhurst. Can't think why. Do you believe in love at first sight, Mary? Well, 
I fell in love with Michael Brady the first time I ever saw him. Oh. Who's Michael Brady? Boy back home. He's a priest now. There's some very good-looking priests, I've noticed. Well, Father Brady's good-looking. So's Kev. Kev? He'll have forgotten you ever existed now after he's discharged. They all do. They only see the uniform. We'll see about that. Come on, have a cup of chairs. Do you need a bit to get in a bit full? Help yourself. But be good boys and return them when you finish. Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. got some fun. They're even better looking than he is. Both of them. Talk about fickle. An hour ago, he was Mr. Wonderful. Especially that dark one. Yeah, seen your idea good looking before. That telephone engineer that came to the home. You reckon he looked like Paul Newman? I thought he had a face like a razor blade. <laughs> well, you've got no idea, have you? It's all them bog Irish blokes back home. <laughs> it's ruined your taste. I'll ruin your looks in a minute, I will. Hi, hi. Just in time for a punch up, are we? Your place doesn't change. What are you two doing here? Doesn't she make you feel welcome? She's got a great gift for it. I've always said that. Hello, fish face. Glad to see your old mates. Well, of course, Joe. Hi, Sandra. Hi. What are you doing here? Visiting. Oh? An old lady from the flat downstairs. She's in female surgery. Oh. Well? Well, what? Isn't someone going to put the kettle on? Sister will go spare. It's easy. Not during a visit now. She'll be too busy telling relatives the worst. You've no tea. We have. Bought some today. You've not come to borrow your hair dryer, Gail, honest. Or even your jewellery. Oh, go and put the kettle on, Lynn. Sister won't bother us. I think we're a flipping cafe. What's wrong with her? You're not a fellas, you see. She only really comes to life when this fella's about. I heard that. She doesn't like competition, do you, Lynn? Who's the fella? A new patient we got in today. She thinks he's lovely. Not to mention the two friends that are in visiting. Who? That's oh. greedy. Anyway, what can she do about them? She's on duty. We aren't. Exactly. 